Hi everyone. So in this video, you will learn how to change a font size of an element using JavaScript. So let's get started. First of all, we need an index.html file. So let's create one. We need a basic structure here. We also need a style sheet. So let's add a link tag here. We'll also need a script file. So let's add script.js. Here we need a div element and two buttons. So let's make it minus and let's make it plus. Let's give them an ID decrement DEC and this one will be increment INC. We need a paragraph element here. Let's have a text and a word. Save it. Now let's create a style sheet. So it will be style.css. Select the body element. Display will be flex. Flex direction will be column. Justify content will be center. Align items will be center. Select the button element. Padding will be 5 pixel and 20 pixel. Margin top will be 10 pixels. Select P element. Font width will be bold. Font size will be 16 pixels. Save it. Let's open this file in the browser. And this is the output. So by looking at the layout, you already understood what we are trying to achieve here. So when I will click on this minus button, I would like to decrease the font size. And when I will click on this plus button, I would like to increase the font size. Let's go to code editor and create a script.js file. Now let's select all the key elements one by one. First of all, we'll go with the increment button will be document.query selector and we'll pass the ID here. Same goes in case of decrement button. Also we'll select the paragraph element. Let's make it text. Let's add a click event listener to these two buttons. Upon click, I would like to call this function update font size. This function will be created later. Just copy and paste it here. Make it the decrement button. And here we'll pass minus one. Now let's create this method. Now first step here is to get the current font size of the paragraph element and convert that into a integer. Since we are passing one, it should be one. And let's create a variable current font size. To get the current font, we'll make use of get completed style method and we'll pass this paragraph element and this will give us the property of font size. Now let's convert that into an integer because it will return 16 pixel, which is the default value. We'll make use of pass int here and pass this current font size. In case the font size is zero. I would simply like to return. So let's add a check here. So if current font size is equivalent to zero, we'll return. If not, we'll change the font. So it will be style dot font size. We'll use template literal here. 
so it will be current font size plus the value and px save it go to browser click on this decrement click on this increment you can see it is working as expected i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day